I'm going to 3D print a tank cap for this motorcycle tank. It's off a uh, KZ650 SR. Um, very hard to come by and the tank caps are even more so. It's about £200 for the cap on eBay so it's a lot cheaper. As long as it's in the right material um, I can 3D print it a lot cheaper and it'll do the same job. So I did purchase a tank cap off another motorcycle quite cheaply just to see how the mechanism works. The key just engages and disengages two poles so that when they're extended it's locked onto the underside of this rim here. When you turn the key it just disengages the poles and allows you to remove it from the tank. Um, I have actually 3D printed a version already which works quite well just inserts the poles engage and it's locked in position there is a, a gasket on the underside here but which is tensioned by these two springs but there's no there's not going to be a vacuum in this tank because there's airflow still possible from the center and just a makeshift key at the moment just to engage and disengage the poles so that's in position and then just release the poles to remove. This needs to be improved and I still need to do the actual cover but it's a good good first step. The key itself is just two grub screws at the moment. I did try to 3D print one with these features but because the layer lines run horizontal they were so easy to snap off and the last thing I want is bits of plastic floating around the tank or get to a petrol station and one of these snaps off and you can't fill up so I'll probably just uh, stick with these 3mm grub screws and there's a few improvements I need to make on this this channel needs to extend to the top I'll probably recess these screws here just so I'm not going to damage the tank. This is a bit flimsy. But yeah, next steps are to just do a, a cover or cap design and integrate uh, the, the lock. It's not going to be a traditional lock, it's just going to be a turning mechanism which just releases these poles. So I'm going to go over to Fusion and do the do the cap design now. This is the design that I've settled on for the cap. It's quite typical of one of the CNC uh, aluminium uh, tank caps. I've just added a, a big chunky uh, locking mechanism to the top and then there's this five spoked design around the edge. Um, I had to design it a bit differently uh, for 3D print this. Uh, gives it a bit more surface area to stick onto the build plate. I mean, the nylon isn't too bad to print with. I've not had any warping issues with it. It just prints similar to PETG. Uh, but there's a few considerations I had to uh, make into this design. The, there's quite a big support structure underneath this tank cap. But it all seemed to come off relatively easily. And these smaller holes for the for the screws to be recessed into. They did need support, but again, it was very easy to remove. Uh, there's two moving sections on this design. There's the poles which move in and out and tensioned by a spring on the, in the center here. And then there's this top section where the gasket sits underneath here and creates a seal with the tank and that's again tensioned by two springs uh, which sits either side and in and recessed in these two holes here. Uh, I've made it so there's no visible screws from the top. It has to be dismantled from the bottom here, just these two screws. So yeah, I'm going to maybe 3D print it one more time in PLA and then do uh, final print in nylon. This is now the final print in nylon. It's come out quite nice. There's no visible Z seam. 
I set it to sharpest corner in Cura. However, you can't really see which corner it used. Compare this to the one in PLA. Looks quite nicer. So to put this together, I'm using these two. Uh, these are th all three mil. These are ten mil grub screws for the key. And then there's some twenty two twenties and three eight mil. And there's a thirty by five spring to tension these poles. And then these are seven by twelve, which tension the uh, rubber gaskets onto the tank. So these go onto the underside here. And the rubber gasket onto this. So the way this key works is sits in these the grub screws sit in these holes here and when it's turned it just retracts these So we're going to see what it looks like on the tank now. The um, it can probably be used this design for a number of different tanks. This the diameter of this seems quite consistent on the ones that I've tried it on. The only the biggest variable is the height between um, the lip of the tank and how it seals with this gasket here. So just by varying this height here it can probably be reused on a number of different tanks.